Hi my loves, I want to talk to you today about something very interesting and I want to invite you to take what resonates and leave the rest out because this is going to be a little bit of a taboo thing to discuss but this is something that I've been receiving through my own guidance for a while now and I wanted to address it specifically in regards to the pandemic of mental illness, men mental health um, epidemic. So. I was seeing the other day a video, I think it was Giselle Bontian. Uh, she was talking about that she was having anxiety. You scroll up and then there's a video of Goldie Hawn, beautiful, beautiful, sweet actress. Um, my mom was always obsessed with this movie of Goldie Hawn and Mel Gibson, The Bird on a Wire, something like that. It was very funny. I found it funny when I was a kid. I watched it a couple of years ago. I didn't find it so funny anymore, but Goldie Hawn, actress. Uh, also talking about how she reached rock bottom because she was, you know, suffering from all this anxiety. It's endless. You can scroll and scroll and scroll and you're gonna find so many celebrities talking about their battles with anxiety. And we don't even need to look at the celebrities. We just need to look at our ourselves, the people, to see, to recognize that there is a mental health epidemic. Anxiety is right now so prevalent up there together with depression, but it's like anxiety is even more pre prevalent than depression. It's like becoming this thing where it's like so freaking trendy for everybody to have like generalized anxiety disorders and to be on medication that tends to anxiety. If you are there, I do not uh, intend to judge or to invalidate your experience. I'm myself a person who had anxiety was suffering from anxiety for a while in my life I was like putting everything under the rug because in my family this was not supported in the culture that I grew up in you know we're Greeks we just you know patch a big smile on our face and it's like everything is fine there's the eternal sunshine right wrong <laughs> and uh, later, later on um, it, it you know I collapsed <laughs> under the weight of just you know camouflaging all of these emotions so I am myself someone who has had to heal from anxiety I never went on medication because I never accepted to go actually seek therapy I never believed in therapy I still don't believe in mainstream therapy that's just me if you uh, support um, this path and if this path has helped you I do not wish to uh, discard your experience i'm just saying that for me i never believed in mainstream therapy and so i never sought mainstream therapy i felt that i am going to heal myself that was probably my contract in life because it brought me to a point where i had to become an alchemist to heal my life which i also did and not only i don't have uh like anxiety or depression or all of these things and that came in tandem with healing my physical body right i had so many like um, deficiencies in minerals and vitamins it was no wonder that i was having like all of this anxiety and my brain couldn't function but uh, i healed from all of that and now if there is anxiety coming up because there's actually a specific reason let's say something actively is happening and you know it puts me at unease i have tools uh, that i have acquired through this long journey to know how to help myself neutralize this energy again like just the other day i was feeling a little bit you know everything's a little bit much right now there's a lot of movement you know i sat down i did some meridian tapping i journaled a bit on you know is all everything fine with me <laughs> and everything good meridian tapping rewiring the nervous system processing the energy but so often i want to say this so often the reason why we have all of this anxiety is because our nervous system is reacting to something so much more generalized than just things happening here and there also trauma is a very big factor but when we are working towards resolution it can also put these things in a place where they no longer occupy us that much you can have <laughs> incredible trauma you can have incredible physical emotional sexual psychological abuse 
maybe for years and years you may have had like the most weird complex PTSD and still come to a balance I'm a testament of that I'm a living proof of that and so something that I am picking up on something that I'm seeing something that also my angels have been talking to me about since 2018 and I wasn't really understanding back then I didn't have the vocabulary I didn't let's just say I was a little bit in a space where I was trying to only look at the positive things or I was trying to think positive believe positive because I felt that if I would look and acknowledge any challenging thing that this would lower my my energy would lower my frequency or whatever which is by the way not true and in the years that I followed I realized that when you work with the light you have to get comfortable with looking into the darkness as well and that doesn't mean that you're gonna become dark if of course you stare endlessly into the dark yeah, yeah there you have things where it's like you look at the dark for long enough the dark stares back at you yes but that's not what I'm talking about I'm not talking about losing ourselves into rabbit holes or things that are just for stories 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 but no resolution or or things that don't empower you they're just narratives and they're I see a lot like in the spiritual community there's been like this entertainment really to be talking about energy fences and you know spiritual manipulation and dark force manipulation and entities and this and that when I talk about these things it's really to help people understand how these things work so that they understand their very own power in the situation to, to you know because a lot of people are dealing with these things so it's important that we talk about these things to help us understand how we can find our power into creating resolution it's not so that we are only occupied with this it's not that life only becomes about seeing the evil entities everywhere and the this and that but this is something that i saw that when you work with the light you are eventually also called to get comfortable <laughs> with uh, coming face to face with some darkness and it's always with such protection it's been on my path and i'm very grateful for that it's like i've had to come face to face with some very very dark things dark things that costed the lives of other people i even have in my own family situations of people who actually lost their lives from curses hexes witchcraft very very dark things that if the people were acknowledging and went into figuring out how do we deal with these things they would have come empowered and these things would no longer be the things that were dominating them and eventually ruining their lives I'm talking about uh, divorces I'm talking about bankruptcy I'm talking about eventually illness that led to death so I have great respect for everything all of these different forces not just you know the archangels and the angels because that's the energy that I work with when I do healing work no I also have a respect for the opposite side because I have seen enough of it to make me smart enough to not underestimate something or to not be like oh that doesn't exist oh that doesn't you know it's it's uncomfortable I'm not gonna I'm gonna pretend it's not there meanwhile that thing is working there but especially if you're focusing on healing it's like you might be putting all of your effort on healing but it's like you're not putting all of the you know in the right direction where the problem actually is so I want to say this because in the spiritual community I'm a huge fan of Abraham Hicks for example positive focus I still do it uh, but to help me in, spe in very specific portions of my journey I don't just plaster it all over my journey because then we're coming into a point where it's like we're we live in denial and so one of the things that are uncomfortable to talk about is the broadcasting of certain types of frequencies I have 
my own theories about where and why and how these energies, these frequencies are being broadcasted, but I'm not going to share this here on YouTube because I could be flagged for saying this. Um, my channel sometimes is dealing with, you know, <laughs> when I'm talking about healing, so I'm not even saying anything controversial, already I see, I see the engagement. It's like, for some reason, my channel is growing, growing, growing in subscribers, but somehow the people don't even see my videos. My videos are being pushed down, especially after I have posted a video where something that certain structures and systems consider controversial. So I'm not going to say more on that, but I'm going to say that since 2018, I have been instructed by my angels and guides back then, I wasn't so aware that that was it, what I was being instructed for. Later on, it became more clear that this is a lot about establishing an energy that allows me to bounce back easily from frequency manipulation. Because something that I'm seeing is that there is a lot of these different frequencies from military grade type of equipment. So, this is not mm, I was talking about this with another healer and she said what do you think do you think that I don't know there's like some witchcraft that's happening or whatever I'm like no no to me this feels like very real life quite frankly to me this just feels like military grade frequency broadcasting targeting very specific faculties of the brain impairing uh, a lot of the ways that the physical body, the nervous system, is able to process energy, process information, <laughs> that's what it is all about, and to direct perception. And as a result, then you have, you know, the masses acting in a certain way that serves certain systems. I am based in Germany. They here it's been crazy the stuff that happened after Nazi Germany and you know so this country when I started connecting with the land like the actual wisdom of the land and the spirits of the land it's so interesting that there is an energy of um, I'm even here actually in a lot of ways to reconcile things that happened way way back um, by acknowledging, seeing them, looking at them, accepting them, addressing them, speaking about them openly. I just have to be a little, you know, careful in how I do that because usually when I start talking here about such things, people start get panicked and that's why I want to address this so that we understand a few things from the inside so we have knowledge, knowledge is power, so we don't get panicked, but we just know how to protect ourselves as best as is possible right so this epidemic of mental health problems is in my view and in my informations is guided is created and it is um broadcasted also in a way so that the people are seeing all of these examples of all of these celebrities who are opening up now about like their problems with mental health and they're like oh yeah look everybody has it oh it's it's normal now it's yeah of course it's normal and of course it's normal to be weighed down and of course it's a great thing that we are talking openly about these things while in previous generations we were not talking about these things to the detriment of the soul and to the detriment of the hearts of men and women and children but what is happening now is something else what is happening now is an engineered situation that seeks to further degrade or, or uh, disable the ability of humanity to connect through the crown with the Godhead and with our connections to the Godhead, to the broader, to the, to the wider thing that we are. And so there are these certain types of frequencies some days i even feel them like i can sense if i don't want to go out i know something is something has been turned up something has been made stronger or something has been i don't know added on 
and I go out and indeed I sense this and it's even certain like factors like things um, I can see the energy in the air let me just say it like that if, I, if I'm looking around especially out in nature I can see the air I can see it looks like electricity it looks like you know but sometimes it has colors so to me I'm a clairvoyant you have to imagine I went like a couple of days ago we went to a sacred uh, place here in Germany with some giant rocks these rocks um, according to the healers who took us there these rocks had been transferred from Mexico all the way like still when humanity was doing these megalithic structures by utilizing vibration and sound you know these megalithic structures that we're looking at them and we're like how how did we create these things we didn't have the tools frequency vibration through sound so they brought these rocks there and there was for a while nothing growing there and they brought a priest to bless the place and then everything started growing again so you have to imagine i went there we went to do a meditation so i'm sitting there i perceived this uh, priest and i even saw like uh men dressed like crusaders so i vocalized it i spoke about it because we we didn't know what the place was we were not told i spoke about this and the healers in the group they said yes that's that's exactly that's what happened they brought these stones here nothing was growing and then they brought this priest to bless the place and yes when you show crusaders of course they, they were passing from here so why i'm saying this i'm not saying this so much to say like look i am like so capable of being in places and like perceiving information oh it's like the land so often the land is giving you information about what is has happened but also what it is happening now <laughs> all right and it's so interesting it's like a frequency right when you go out just before it is about to rain just like now by the way we're gonna have a storm it looks fantastic um and you feel right immediately the 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 frequency kind of gets you know this is something that we all feel because it's like so so obvious imagine it's something like that for me i perceive these things and so so often i have days where i go outside and the energy is amped up there's something broadcasted and it is some days amped up what i have found is that this is contributing to agitate agitation the nervous system not knowing how to keep up with these energies these energies are aimed specifically to um, influence the perception by through influencing the brain waves in the brain and i'm big on brain waves because back when i had depression for example i was working with brain waves like theta alpha are wonderful between 9 9.5 and 10.6 they are wonderful to put you in this relaxed rest and 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 digest phase right which is so important when we are stressed or we, we have depression usually this is what we're liking so you listen to these brain waves let's say with your headphones and you are entraining the brain to copy that signal and to start up op operating at, at that level so i have proof that brain waves heal so we can just assume that brain waves can also be used for the opposite to um it does it is the word to elicit to inflict to kickstart depression or anxiety when you mess with the brain waves you mess with the ability of the body to be in homeostasis and frequencies brain waves that are broadcasted at a level where we're not able to perceive them with our ears but for example the elemental kingdom is able to perceive so when i do mediumship with the land and i have trees or i have plants speaking to me about these energies that are being broadcasted i take it into consideration it's like we don't hear an earthquake before it happens, but a dog hears it. We don't hear certain frequencies, but a dog can hear it. 
um, in the same way, like also the, the dog can smell the fear or it can smell the pheromones. We cannot smell pheromones, but they influence us nevertheless. They make us feel somehow. <laughs> That's the reason why you have a lot of these things into perfumes and into things like these. You spray yourself, you feeling some type of way. <laughs> so it is always important to understand or to at least open our minds to entertain the possibility that a lot of the things that we see crystallized as like seemingly a real thing, something that the whole world is talking about, we gotta ask yourself if this is um, pushed by some place where we don't see it openly. So I do believe this pandemic, this epidemic of mental health uh, difficulty is a result of humanity being blasted with frequencies that seek to mess up with the brain waves in order to control uh, public collective perception and to manipulate um, action, to manipulate public opinion, manipulate actually the masses into specific types of um, actions, attitudes, beliefs. I wanted to share this with you because, as I said, the point of this is to bring power into our situation. If we know that this is a possibility, that basically we are all feeling a little shaky, baby, because <laughs> a little shaky, baby, who was saying this? I think it was a guy called Ralph Smart. He was always saying, I used to listen to him in 2015 or so. I don't listen to him anymore. I don't agree with everything he says. Bless his heart. But I think he was always saying like, oh, a little shaky, baby. So if we're all feeling a little shaky because we're being blasted by vast amounts, military grade amounts, of uh, frequencies that are completely messing up the brain waves, then we know the remedy is to spend, for example, more time out in nature, where immediately the, the brain is harmonizing with the natural pulse of Mother Earth, negative ions and the biofield of the, of the heart, you know, that this is all interacting. And so inflammation goes down, insulin and stress hormones in the, in the blood, this is all going down and the sugar levels, right? Something else that we can do is work actively and intentionally with brain waves like uh, alpha brain waves i have like apps on my phone you can find them like on on your app store find one listen first thing in the morning when you wake up put on these alpha brain waves before you fall asleep or during the day if you see that you need a little bit of a you know do basically brain wave entrainment even working with crystals is like they help with the frequency they emit. They entrain your own uh, energy field into a specific frequency. So find crystals that if you are having anxiety, they help you, they help entrain you in the frequency of peace, of calm. Uh, so crystals that are actually uh, helping you tap back into the heart, right? or very soothing crystals like let's say blue calcite or uh, blue kyanite is amazing blue kyanite is even great in regards to cutting through mental manipulation from military grade like um, you know broadcasted frequencies so you guys i'm gonna bounce i think because it's like flickering so much here i think the storm is upon us wonderful before a storm the whole ions that are floating in the air, it's insane. It's so energizing. I always make sure if I can, and it's not too dangerous, I always make sure to stay out long enough, like just before the storm starts, then I go back in home because <sighs> this is all so energizing. I totally recommend it. Of course, always stay safe, right? <laughs> Don't go in the storm, right, my loves? So I just wanted to share this because I see a lot of people who are talking about like anxiety especially people like celebrities who have a lot of eyes on them i don't even have to speak about that right that what is also involved is the attention of all the people watching your life 
having their own opinion and their own projection about you this is also like a blast of energy not good so put protection activate your 12 dimensional shield every single day if you are exposed especially to you know places where you know there's a lot of attention on you or there's rivalry um work i will always say this work with the angels or work with prayer call in divine assistance uh work with the christ consciousness which is literally the christ within us all and so i think walking on a path where we become conscious about the energies at play and at all that there are energies at play like for example when i hear a model beautiful gorgeous everything is going great in her life and she's like you know i was having such anxiety i couldn't get into planes anymore i couldn't go about doing my you know my my, my life purple is like shining and whatever of course i have questions as to whether maybe that phase in her life is over and maybe her spirit is trying to guide her to something else uh, but also i have to ask is it possible that you have some entity attachment occupying you right now maybe we need to clear this is it possible that there's too much energy cording and we need to clear it is it possible that we need to take a bundle of white sage and blast you off for some days is it possible that you need a salt bath is it possible that you need to start working with prayer is it possible that you need energy healing energy clearing is it possible that you need to go check your minerals and and your uh, vitamins is it possible that you need a good detox is it possible that you need to remove yourself from abusive relationships is it possible that you need to spend more time in nature is it possible that you need to uh, take different steps in regards to like your life purpose or everything that you're doing is it possible that there is guidance that you are not heeding and is it possible yes that your brain has been also out of whack due to environmental issues such as being blasted with military grade frequencies on the daily because there you know there's also this aspect of life here on planet earth so my loves i wanted to talk about this also exactly to share these these tips and tools don't underestimate the working with brain waves you guys this is brainwave entrainment so figure out which uh, brain waves are for which uh, types of things and use them as a remedy to what challenges you have each time all right i love you all very very much i hope uh, you're doing good i have uh, updated my whole offerings on my channel elinasalchemy.com you're gonna find a lot of new distance energy healing sessions that i'm offering from now on and uh, intuitive soul readings as well so i hope to see you there for anything that you need me goodbye for now